all over. Stay. Warning, this episode is going to be rated PG-13. Yee! Also, the opinions are ours alone and not associated with anybody we may be affiliated with or went with. So anyway, this is going to be a fun title. Or this is going to be a fun episode. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. Well, I did, but that might alienate young viewers. Right. So why don't we just call it Thursday... No! August 15th. No? Okay. But that's the day that we're talking about, so... That's a lame title. Get ready, because here we go. So anyway, we made the... So anyway, me on the group. Was this the day that we got the... No, that was that was after Efteling, where we got the wrong uh, breakfast bag for you. Yep. I don't even remember what we had, but... Oh, well. It was a lot of bread. Anyway, we drove about an hour or so to the... Yeah, it was about an hour from the hotel. Yeah, a little... To Holiday yeah. Park. To Holiday Park in Germany. This was one of two... This park had one of two coasters that I was worried about not riding. That being, obviously, Expedition G-Force. The famous Intamin Junior Hyper. And that one the group had ERT on. Mm-hmm. And I rode that ride probably, what, four or five times? I don't know. Um, this one was similar to Terran, where on the side that is, uh, that is on the opposite side of where you enter the train, um, I needed, I needed an extra push to get in, and I was kind of worried. Um... Is this the one that had like kind of the woods and you yeah. went through? Okay. There was a, there was a couple of us that waited on a bench for people to get off. There was another person that was um. There was another person that was in a similar situation as me, and he had to get you know pushed as well. No judging, or no judgment. And so then, because they were thankfully running two trains, um, someone, uh, we were able to ride it a couple more times. And so I was like, you know what? I want to sit on the other side, on the side that is right next to where you enter the train. And it worked out better, didn't it? And I didn't need to get stapled. So I was like, okay, either this side is bigger or <laughs> crawling over a step made me lose like two inches and 40 pounds. I don't know. I don't think <clears throat> so. And I told, and I told that guy uh, that technique, like write it, on, write, it on, write it on this side. And he did, and I don't think, I think he was able to ride it a couple more times as well. Good. So after that, people didn't ride it as long as you did. They started taking off to the other rides um, because we had a short time at this park. Mm -hmm. um, 9.30 was ERT, and we had to leave about three hours later. So um, We had to leave at 12.30? Yep. And then next, you did to Beluga's Royal Roller coaster? Roller coaster, whatever. It's a junior coaster. Um, this is one Tabaluga which... Tabaluga or whatever. something? Whatever. I'm not sure, sorry. This one is themed to, uh, what is it? I think the, is it the Hot 100 or the 100 Club group? Or the 10 Club? I don't know. It's themed to, like, apparently this European, like, kids show or family show. Oh, I don't know. I have no okay. idea. I've never heard of this show. Maybe it's based on Hit Studio something. I don't know. Europeans are going to, like, say, you, you, we, uh, hello, you were totally wrong. Okay. That's how, all, that's how I make all tourists sound. That would be really confusing if we ever went to France. Mm. Hint, hint, hint. Nudge, nudge, nudge. To steal a line, to steal expedition theme park. Um, then next, we went inside. No, that coaster was also inside. Oh, we were inside for that one. Oh, that one was up, yeah, as you went in to the right. And then there was this small flying thing. Which you've written something, you wrote something similar to it at, uh, at Flamingo Land. Okay. But, once again, I don't like them fly up in the air. So, down. when we were at the dizzying heights of 12 feet. I didn't like it. It was Mia's elf 
flight. Yeah. I mean, it was themed well. The Maybe ride it's was... Hunter's Studio. The ride was themed well. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like going up. Freaked me out. And it was kind of... We were 20 feet above the ground. I don't care. Our roof... Our roof is taller. I like track below me. I don't like to be just hanging or sitting on top of track or whatever. Anyway, I rode it. Okay. It was after themed that, well. Yeah. After that, then we... People were laughing at me being freaked out, but, you know, hey. After that, did we do the, did we do the dark ride? Um, Falkenstein Castle. Berg Falkenstein. Or, oh, Falkenstein. I don't know. I think that's what that's what Legend calls it, and he he knows his stuff. Okay, so we'll go with what he called it. So anyway, I already put the disclaimer, folks. So, so hey, this was I don't, the ride I, no pity I for will you now. describe it. I already said it's going to be PG thirteen. I know, but you don't have to describe it that way. Okay, I'll so say anyway, it's a haunted mansion style. Uh, Omni Mover Dark Ride, which means it's continuously loading. Um, Kay was a little worried because we were walking up steps and she was like, how, much, how many more steps am I going to have to do? And I'm like, not many more. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. And you were. So go ahead and describe the ride. It had a lot of scenes that were more olden day soldiers and there was one scene that had was she a nun you said she was a nun she was a nun and she was in a muslim nightgown i thought she was just in a and just i thought she just had a cloth over her yeah it was muslim nightgown i didn't i didn't think it was a hijab or anything and um she got out of bed with the soldier and she lowered her nightgown. So then she became a bare-chested nun. She was not wearing a bra. Bare-chested means she doesn't have anything. I can say bra because they said it on an episode of Jesse. Got it. So we're leaving that kind of like that. No, there's one thing else I want to say about it. About that scene or, or no, others? The ride in general. There are two okay. things. One, do you kind of understand now why I didn't tell you what ride it was going to be? Yeah. And the other thing is that, you know, being the, I guess, nice guy is how I would be described. I told a lot of people in our group, I was not just um, gender blind. I suggested it to both the men in our group and the women in our group. And, Kay, we're going to get to it, but you were apparently very offended that I told women about this ride. It's just my upbringing, Justin. I thought you, I thought you were smart. Never mind. I'll find a shelf. Do, 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 do. Oh. Next. <laughs> Oh, Christmas time. Next, um, you did the LSM Looping Coaster Sky Scream. How mm -hmm. was that? This is my first time doing one of these Premier Ride Skyrocket 2 models. or Sky Yeah, Skyrocket 2 models. Um, they do nothing for me. I, I, oh, really? I, hmm. They're better than the Marzone versions. Of course, um, burping in a closet is better than most Marzone looping coasters. <laughs> Rip Ride Rocket. Remember that one? Yeah, I didn't ride it. Oh, I didn't realize I still had my necklace on. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's okay. I don't know. I... Maybe I was expecting it to have a lot of airtime or be smoother, but I found it kind of I found it kind of bumpy and jerky. Maybe that's just a bad model. Maybe it needed maintenance or or rehab or something. But I don't know. It just did nothing well, for me. Well, LSM stands for what? Linear synchronous motors. So that should have been smoother then. 
Shouldn't it have? I think the launch was smooth, but like some of the transitions weren't that, weren't that hmm. smooth. Okay. I'm well, just, I'll ride more. It's not like it's not like those uh, windstorm hurricane rides where I'd be like, "Well, here I go to take the abuse again." Okay. I'm not making light of that, folks. So then we had to meet up on the bus. No, there's uh, something else that we did. Or what? apparently there's two things else that we did. Um, what I later found out was, or what we, what I did was, I did one of those, a whip ride with a car. Oh. I didn't write that down. Sorry. Yeah, but, uh, no, one of those boat whip rides. Do you remember? No. Yeah. What? <sighs> Yeah, you took a picture, I think. Okay. I don't remember. I think I, I think I also did a star flyer. Hmm. I and... only put you at five rides there. You didn't have a star flyer marked. Are you talking about the right park? Yes, I am. Okay. Sorry. And uh, I wanted to get uh, an infamous German sausage, which was like this long or so however they didn't have any cooked and oh. they weren't going to for another half hour that's right you couldn't so, eat lunch there because they were just starting up their fires and grills yeah. so instead i think i had like what did i have like bubble soda or something hmm. it's like this weird soda that i think was pink maybe it was grapefruit soda Oh, well. Yeah. And let's see. What should I do? Um, oh, I can't remember his YouTube channel. Dang it. I feel like a jerk. Okay. Well, let's move on. But you can hear me. Uh, you can hear me just blabbing about stuff in one of his videos when he recorded because he was on the bus and that's when he was the guy he was sitting behind us i think that was his was doing a trip report and you were just he, talking away well i didn't see him recording so i was just yeah just talking okay. um i think that was either his hundred 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 fiftieth coaster or his friends hundred okay. hundred fiftieth okie doke Okay. Now, now let's go can on we get to on the, the bus. Yeah, no, we were on the bus. Oh, we're going. We're headed to Trips Drill. Now let's go to the English is a fifth language park. Do you Air... know? Do you remember what? Do you know what that's referring to? No. This is one park where if you speak, if you speak or read only English, you are kind of out of luck because the English maps have no markings on them. Now, do you remember? Didn't you get them in the store or something? You had to pay for them or something? That was at Babin Yen Land. Oh, okay. Baba Jin Land. This was the one where we ate at. Yeah. And that's where you thought you lost your credit card. We left a few things at the restaurant because we had to get going so fast. I don't remember what I had. I think I only had salad or something. They weren't prepared for me. What the heck? Fish and chips. I don't know. So, Did you have a sausage, sour gratin or something? I don't know. I don't remember. I okay, don't... anyway. So your first ride was a family coaster... Rassender Tassandafulber. I have no idea. I'm assuming that means like <laughs> ladybug or garden snake. <laughs> Why don't you say it again? I didn't hear you correctly. Rassender Tassandafulber. I think that means like speed snake or something. Okay, it was a family coaster. Why don't you tell us about that one? It was a standard uh, Zaire. Zaire. Uh, Tivoli medium or yeah Tivoli medium or Tivoli large model that just basically goes around like um 
It goes around the gardens and stuff. This park, it's kind of weird. A chunk of it is set in the forests, kind of like Efteling, but then the other part is set in just a bunch of grass and that's it. Way out there. Mm-hmm. I think we also rode a carousel at Holiday Park. I think I have a picture riding a carousel. That wasn't listed, oh. but I think we had some time or something. Oh, okay. So anyway. The second one you did was the log flume. The did I Brunin. Did I do this one with Debbie? I yeah, think? she took my coat. Um, this was another ride that, similar to the uh, Berg Falkenstein um, dark ride, is another one of those things that you will only find in Europe and not necessarily in America. It is a log flume. I'll say the kid version first where you go where you pretty much sit in a literal bathtub complete with like a drain and i think there was even like a shower head part wasn't it i don't know and you go forwards you go backwards um isn't that the one you went sideways or something too or no i don't you might go sideways i don't Hmm. know it this is like the third log flume that i went forwards backwards and maybe sideways on they they kind of Apart from the theme, they all kind of start merging together. (laughs) The theme of this one is it's themed to a Roman bath. And when you're in the queue line, you see a statue of probably a 70, 75, maybe maybe 65 or so year old woman in a one piece. Which kind of worries you like, what is going on here? Um, But then there's the big Roman bath scene that contains a bunch of um, breasts and booties. Women not clothed for a typical... I already said it's PG-13. Typical Roman bath where the women supplied the water while the men bathed. I didn't see any buckets. There are usually pitchers. I didn't see any pitchers. Whatever. Water pitchers. Um, I was very for this ride, and I think I might have told, I told some people, um, on the bus about this ride, and afterwards, because Kay didn't, because Kay was, felt very uncomfortable with me saying it to women about the, um, about the Berg Falkenstein, um, I decided to, I decided to go the complete opposite extreme by whenever there was a group, I would only tell the guys, like, hey, you have to ride the log flume. Don't let them put you on the log flume. Don't ride the log flume. And I said that to about three groups of people that had both guys and girls. Um, and one of the... What I didn't necessarily... What I... It didn't bother me, so I didn't mention it. Was that the queue line? You at during part of the queue line, you're right next to like the big drop on the ride. This would be like being you have right. To be careful where you stand. This would be like being line. right next to the big splash on Splash Mountain, and that's part of the queue line. So, um, one woman in our group was not the luckiest person i'm sorry and so she got splashed in the queue line before she got on the ride and i was like i'm sorry i didn't sorry it wasn't your fault um she just happened to be walking through the queue line at the wrong time again i apologize i'll keep your name confidential Whatever. Um, then we went on. Oh, number three. Say it. It's a bobsled, and it looks like Gasungate Sao. I think that means like fast rider or fast diver, I think. Gerslauer bobsled coaster. Yeah, uh, I told someone, it was, um, 
it was Kate's, I think this park was going to be like Kate's like 400th coaster or something or 300, some, something like that, maybe even 500th. And, she's, and she was asking like, hey, what ride should I make for my 500th or so? And I was like, well, the they have a bobsled coaster similar to Tiki Waka. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No, that was a different coaster that you rode earlier. That was at Wadibi, Belgium. And she was like, oh, cool, I'll do that then. Uh, turns out it was not as good as Tiki Waka. She was a little angry at me. And I'm like, sorry, I didn't know. Okay. Angry. She was like, that was nothing like Tiki Waka. And I was like, it's the same make. Whatever. Anyway, bobsled, Gerslauer bobsled coasters are kind of like wild mice, except they don't have the wild mouse la wild mice layouts. They they have a lot of like bank turns and no, you you don't you don't feel like you're getting you're gonna like fall off the edge like no, you do on wild mice. Don't you kind of curve like? Yeah, you kind of do like bank turns like this. Yeah, like a bobsled. Yeah, lean. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Hey, come on up, kitty. What so, next? are you ready to go on number four? It's a wooden twister coaster, Mammut. Wow, you want to talk about it? Disappointment on the trip. Um, this really? was probably was that yeah. This was my biggest disappointment. It was. Oh. It looks good. It doesn't ride good. The ride has very little air time. Every single like turn is bumpy. It you go if I think if you go like much slower than you actually are, it's just it's not a very exciting ride. It doesn't have air time. It's not the smoothest. I mean like it is just it is just so like meh. And I even asked someone, like, what ride on this trip was your biggest disappointment? And they said Ma Ma Mammoth or Mammoot as well. Mm. Okay, is that enough about that one? Uh, no, that's where that's <laughs> where we uh, we met someone, or that's where I met uh, James and Cassie, who I had said to James, like, James, you ride the log flume. Cassie, don't make him make you ride the log flume. Or don't ride the log flume. And she, and she said, it was okay. I chose to. I've, I see worse every day. And I'm like, I'm sorry. So you're ready for number five that you rode at this park? Launching Infinity Coaster. Caracho or something like I that. I think that might Caracho, mean Cannon or something. Caracho, Caracho. Uh, something close to that. Wow. Cannon. Isn't that a that's a launched Gerslauer looping infinity coaster? That's a lot um, of words. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was the only person in my group. Like I think there was like four or five of us. Maybe there's three or four, but I was like, eh, it's it's okay. It's not my favorite ride. I think I liked Fury better. Mm. That's about it. Um. We did a few other things at this park. Okay. We did that uh, a ride that was similar to um, Ricochet at Great America. But with cars. Cars. Yes, we did. We did that. Um, they were old time cars, weren't they? Yeah, I think so. Like 50 style cars or so. Sport cars or Maybe. something. I don't remember what. Um. But yeah. It made noises like a motorcycle or something. Didn't yeah. It? Yeah. What else did it? I didn't write the carousel. They had a couple of attractions that I wish we had more time. Oh, we and did I... do the car ride? Well, you did do the outdoor ride. Supenschlachelfar. Which is a? Outdoor ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, these rides didn't ah. really have, like, description, so. Super. Supen Shasalfarart. Okay, fart means road, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't the car ride, though, right? The car ride was Shuffen Funk Skitsden Renan. 
Whoo! <laughs> there was one ride at this well, I'm park. I'm glad you didn't ride this one. Schmuck. <laughs> Schmetterlings. Flame. We are aware we're butchering the beautiful German language. <laughs> Can spell it for you. <laughs> hey, why don't you just why don't you say number one hundred and three? Fantastic Shike Fun Wind 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 Fast something whatever. Something something about anyway. this park you probably <laughs> forgot was they have a lot of like drawings on the midways. Mm. Or artwork. Well, there was a guy that was drawing, like, with chalk pictures on yeah. the walkway. Yeah. We have a couple of those photos. We're not going to post them. They were pretty good, actually. Um, I feel like I did a... I feel like I did a... Well, here's the list. You can go through. Wait! Was this the park where uh, there was that... There was that... Um, the children's play area was big. No, there was that horse buggy ride. Was that the one with the horse buggy ride? I, I think it was. Where it was like I got to, I got to uh, pretend to be ranger oh. on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Bang County, trademark. Now I owe him a hundred bucks or so. Oh boy. Hey, I'm not monetized, so I'm nonprofit. Uh, did you do it as well, or did you do the like regular car? I think I did a regular car. Okay. Because you wanted to do... You were sore when you got off. Yeah, I was. I was like... It was a lot of, whew. like, galloping or canter or whatever you want to call it. Trotting. So, yeah, I was in the buggy. I was smart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't want wait. to feel like I was riding a horse the rest of their trip. Wait, were those, like, two... Were those, like... Was there, like, a horse attached to the buggy? Yeah. Okay, not or not they just were out front, or they were out front. Yeah, the horses something. were in the front, and the buggy was in the back, or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this is, and then we did the another ride at this park, the tower ride. Why don't you describe it? I don't remember it. Oh, you'd remember it. I don't remember it. It was like the Mia's elf flight, except a tower ride. Don't that was the one where, um, and I don't know who makes it, but it's it's kind of unique. How come you don't have it listed though? Because I didn't know what it was. I mean, oh, so you, didn't you saw list everything. you saw the English map. They had nothing listed in English, okay. so I had no idea. But I mean, idea. we we kind of tried to write down rides in advance. But yeah, there was like a there was like a bar like right here, and if you pushed it, you rose. You rose as it's fun, and you were like, Justin, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I was like, okay. That does sound like you, doesn't it? Well, I remember the Jasmine's Flight. Was it something like that from Japan? Uh, it was It was like that elf, elf flight thing that we went on at Holiday Park where you push it, and you went up a little bit, and you were like, Justin, don't do that. But it was for like a drop tower. I don't remember. And well, it wasn't really a drop tower. It just kind of like spun. It just kind of spun like a star flyer slowly. I'll take your word for and it. And then I rode it the second time, and then I pushed to make sure I got oh to the. Oh my god! I got to the very top. You were not happy. You you were not happy on this ride. I'm a control freak, so if I can't mm -hmm. control how fast I'm going or how tall I'm going or whatever. But anyway, <coughs> um, excuse me. I guess that's that's about it. After that, then we made our drive, or then we made the drive to the park, and that's all we're gonna leave it as. Yep. Bye. Bye bye. Subscribe to me, and I'll subscribe back. Got it. <laughs>